Hi ladies. Um, it is good to get to warm up with you guys tonight. Um, I just want to let you guys know how proud I am of your team. Um, you've had a fantastic season and you guys have just are very inspiring. So um, congratulations and I would wish you luck tonight, but you definitely don't need luck because you have the skill, you have the leadership and the determination. So. Um, again, I just want to let you girls know how proud I am of you. So let's get warmed up for tonight. So we're going to start with a little upper body and then move into the lower body. So let's begin in our mountain pose. So feet about hip width apart. And let's close our eyes here for just a moment. Roll those shoulders down and back. And I want you to take a moment here to connect with your breath. Long inhales and long exhales in the beginning. Also take a moment to envision your success. Mental reps, they matter. Always picture your success, feel the success. We don't envision ourselves making mistakes. We envision ourselves succeeding and following through with our plan. One more inhale with our eyes closed. And exhale, begin to open those eyes. All right, so let's inhale our arms up to the sky and exhale looking down bringing our chin down inhaling arms coming up exhaling down so using our breath to get warmed up through the shoulders very important inhaling one of our two ball and socket joints inhale exhale inhaling and looking down kind of getting that stretch through the neck too Always connecting our movements to our breath. And one final inhale up and exhale it down. All right, this time using our inhale, we're just gonna lift our arms forward and exhale them back. Inhaling forward. On the exhale back, kind of pull that heart forward, a little back bend here, inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, exhale back. Few more times here, using that breath, always connecting. If you find yourself lost, find your breath. It'll bring you back to the right place every time. Inhale, exhale. Final inhale on this one. Exhale, hands come to the side. All right, we're gonna begin to chain our shoulders and our hips together. So sitting back for our chair, inhaling our arms up, pulling that core in nice and tight. Really grounding down through our, the four corners of our feet, squeezing through the glutes. Inhale here, exhale. On the next inhale, bring your arms up, standing up straight, exhaling into our flowing chair. Inhaling arms up, exhale, sitting back into that chair. Weight coming back into the heels when we sit. The shoulders are starting to fatigue here. On the exhale, we can bring them through heart center. So hands up and sitting back, prayer position. A few more times in our flowing chair. And one more inhale up. Exhale, let's hold that chair for five, four, three, two, and one, let's fold here. So straightening the legs. We're gonna bicycle our knees. So bending and straightening, starting to fire up those hamstrings. Again, using our breath to get deeper into the pose. Let's walk our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. Grabbing our elbows and folding into our rag doll. In our ragdoll, we can kind of sway side to side here, letting the weight of our head decompress through the upper cervical spine. A few more rocks in our ragdoll. And let's place those fingertips down on the mat. Walk our feet a little closer together. So again, I'm gonna really be focusing on the hamstrings tonight to prevent injury. So we're gonna bend that left knee, placing our left hand on the mat, straightening our right leg and opening up our right hand to the sky. 
taking our gaze to that hand. So really feeling that tension behind the leg in our twist. Breathe here and let it go. One more inhale and drop that right hand down to the mat. We're gonna bend through our right knee this time, straightening our left leg, inhaling that left arm up to the sky, taking our gaze up to the sky and our twist. Inhale here and let it go. Pretty tight stretch, inhale. And go ahead and drop those hands back down to the mat. One more time, bicycle through those knees. Now bending through the knees, inhaling, arms come up to the sky, down through heart center. So let's continue to warm up through our trunk. Let's take a step back with our right foot. We're gonna be in a pretty wide plie squat here. So we're gonna get warmed up with our moonflowers and our sunflowers. So um, if you've been doing classes with me, you should be familiar with this once we get going. So let's inhale those arms up to the sky for our five-pointed start. And we're gonna exhale, bending the knees, taking our elbows down by our side. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, sinking down. We're gonna keep a straight back here. And exhale, pinching through those shoulder blades. So these movements right here really do begin to build some fire inside of our body. We can use our breath to help build that warmth. A few more times. Inhaling, reaching up. So everything is engaged here all the way through the fingertips. Final time in Moonflower. This time, inhale, five-pointed star. Coming into our sunflower, so we're gonna bend, but this time we're gonna hinge at the hips, sweeping our fingertips on the floor and coming back up again. Bringing it down, bending, get a little deeper into those hips, inhaling up, exhaling, bending through the knees, hinging at the hips. So we begin to feel those hips working, taking on the weight of our upper body. Inhale, exhale, a few more sunflowers. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and let's step our way back to the front, okay? One more inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat for a forward fold. Small little halfway lift here. Again, you can bicycle out those knees. And let's take a step back with our right foot for our runner's lunge. So fingertips are on the mat. We're gonna have a pretty straight back here, chest pushing forward. Let's rock in our, our runner's lunge. So coming up onto our toes here, getting some movement in the hips and dropping that right hand down to the mat. So on the same side that your foot is down, we're gonna open up for another twist here. Wanting to make sure we've got that flexibility throughout thoracic spine. Inhaling and exhaling that hand down to the mat. This time we're gonna drop our back foot, untuck your toes. So now we're in this low lunge. You can walk your foot out just a little bit. And let's go ahead and drop those hips as we lift the chest. As you guys know, this is one of my favorite stretches, Anjane Asana. You can take your hands onto your knee to help push that right hip a little lower to the mat here. Breathing. Take our fingertips down to the mat. We're gonna shift our hips back for a half split. So those left toes are coming up to the sky. It's not about how close your bottom gets to your heel. It's about how close your chest can get to your knee. And we'll kind of rock from this low lunge into that half split. Really great movement for athletes. I know most of us have tight hamstrings. That's why we're spending a lot of time here today bringing that chest forward and pushing that chest down. Inhaling, exhaling. Breath work is so important, guys. The moment I get out of breath in my practices, the first thing I come to is slowing it back down. I want complete control over my body. All right, next time you find yourself forward, let's actually walk that left foot out just a little bit, we're gonna come into our lizard pose. So we can open up onto the edge of that left foot. This typically feels pretty good here. And if you want, 
Take a look over your left and right shoulder, kind of like you're wagging your lizard tail side to side. Really working on those hips right now. And if this is comfortable for you, uh, let's, let's work a quad stretch. So that left hand should be on the side of the knee that's up. We're gonna bend our right foot and reach back for our right foot with our left hand. So that's a pretty intense quad stretch here. You can stay in a twisted position. You can take a look at that right foot. If this stretch is not available to you today, no worries, don't take it. If it is, then take that front quad stretch. A few more seconds here, and we'll release down to the mat. Go ahead, tuck the back toes, lift back up, and step back for our wide forward fold here. So hips kind of moving side to side. Let's take a step back with our left foot now. Fingertips come to the mat, so just switching sides here. Right foot is in front, knee is bent. We've got our runner's lunge. So we kind of rock in our runner's lunge, getting this side of the body equal. Few breaths here. And we can actually drop that back knee, untuck the toes, push that chest forward, dropping that left hip closer to the floor. Really proud through that chest. And if it feels good here, we can walk our hands up, pushing into our knee. Anjane Asana, so our low lunge. Pulling that core in nice and tight, really working on that left hip. We can begin to take our rocks here. So if it feels good to walk your foot out a little bit further in front, we can. And pulling those toes back, thinking about trying to reach our chest to our knee. It's not gonna get there, it's just the thought that counts. And then rocking forward for that lunge and back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Again, chest coming low when we're doing that half split, and then chest coming up in the low lunge. A few more rocks here. Take this on your own time. It doesn't have to be equal with my timing. If it feels good to stay and stretch in that position for a little longer, take that stretch. You know your body. A few more times. And on this last time forward, let's go ahead, walk our right foot to the outside of our right hand. You can come up onto the edge of that right foot for our lizard pose. Um, for those who are feeling pretty warm, you can always come down to your elbows in lizard pose here. Let's kind of take those hips side to side, being very gentle. A few more breaths. Lizard is definitely one of my favorites too. Definitely gets into the hips. If you'd like to take that quad stretch today, so it'll be right hand is gonna reach back. We're gonna bend that left foot and pull that in. You may notice one side is tougher than the other. In yoga, we do a lot of back of the leg stretching, but not a ton of front side. So this is a great way to get in a good quad stretch. A few more breaths. and gently let that go if you have it. Let's go ahead, hand comes back down to the mat. Come up from that lunge. Oh, we forgot to do our twist, so let's go ahead and hit our twist as we're here. So left hand down, right hand up to the sky. Reaching up, straight through that torso. One more breath, and hand comes down. Let's go ahead and step it back to the front. Bicycling out, bending through the knees, coming all the way up. We'll do one more stretch together. So let's make our way to our wide leg to the side. So wide leg forward fold, hands interlace behind our back. Inhale, open that chest. Exhale, fold. This one feels so nice. Let that head drop. Feel that stretch through our back and shoulders. Really pushing through the outer edges of our feet. You'll feel more of a calf stretch there. And releasing those hands down to the mat. Let's rock side to side in our skandasanas. So taking 
One, a bend in one side, lifting the toes up to the sky on the other side, just rocking back and forth here. So by now, hips should be feeling pretty good. Hamstrings should be feeling a lot better. Shoulders should be feeling nice and warm. The breath has warmed us up. And back to center. One final time, stretching down. And inhaling, arms come up. Exhaling to the front. All right, ladies. Um, thanks for doing this with me today. It was a pleasure to film this for you. And go get it.